Hey guys, we're gonna bore a block today. Um, I got Matt helping me. He's on the camera. We're gonna uh, talk about the boring bar. This is a Van Norman 944S. Uh, the S is for sucker outer. There was a vacuum they called a sucker outer with this thing. And you get these little guys here. And that was for doing that was for doing blocks with the crank still in it, and, and I don't like to do that. Uh, these guys here are called cat's paws. This is what centers um, the bar going down. And there's all different sizes. Uh, we're using the B's for this particular block. This is normally what the cutters look like. And they worked pretty good. And there was a sharpening jig in here uh, for honing them up. And you honed it on the top surface right here. That was a... Uh, that was a way of getting angles on there. There's a diamond surface on that and you'd put this in different positions and you'd put your tool in there and uh, and that's how you got your angles on it. I don't like to use that or these bits. This is the setup I use now. It's got a little, uh, that's three sided uh, bit right there. It's carbide and we're using a small holder with that uh, with that style cutter and it. it's new you could get it at a lot of different places I'll put some links below uh, where you can find them and this is the whole key to getting a good bore is your micrometer and this one was off just a little bit when I got this rig uh, it was off by about two thousandths so the best thing to do is bore a hole measure it and then set your micrometer so you know you're cutting true this is our holder. This is going to go down uh, underneath and, and we'll hook onto this. I'll show you that how it is. Uh, there's a little foot here. This expands out a little bit into the, the piston wall, the uh, cylinder wall. This little tool right here will help you reach down in there and adjust that in and out. And then you've got these two pieces, which are part of the clamping mechanism, which I'll show you when I hook the machine up to the block. And that's your main tightening bar. And again, it's easier to show you when I hook it up to the block. Uh, I'll go over stuff. I'll, I'll get that on the block and then go over uh, the machine and uh, the cat's paws and the cutter and all that. And we'll set up. And uh, this block is getting 20 over pistons. And we could do that in one cut. And I'll show you how that goes next. You good? Okay, guys, these are the cat's paws I was talking about. These expand out you know, with this dial up here. I think you can see them coming out. See that, Matt? Yep. Okay. So we got the we we got our anchor loosely in there. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna send this down to the bottom of the bore because that's always where it's. Um, it gets the least wear and that's always where it's most around. We're going to expand those cat's paws out and you can see that kind of center itself up. So we'll go down and now we're centered. Now go around the back man. we'll show the setup. Okay, to anchor this to the setup, we keep our cat's paws out. Now we've got that piece underneath the block grabbing on each side of the cylinder wall. We've got a little bridge here, and we got a little clamp plate there. And I'll show you more on that. Um, it was tricky getting the first one set up, but I'll show you more of that uh, when we take it apart. So we're just going to tighten this right now, and that's pulling up on our our clamp that we have in the cylinder hole there and it's going to make a rigid setup and the boring bar won't move once we have this nice and tight so that's real snug we know that's centered because the cat's paws are out and we can bring this right up
Okay, next thing we got to do is get our tool set for the bore size that we want, and then we'll slip it in this slot and we'll begin boring. Uh, let's get uh, we'll, we'll get set up for that, and I'll show you the micrometer and how we set our tool bit. Okay, guys, this is our setup. This is a direct reading um, micrometer here. Uh, it's different than regular micrometers. It's uh, each graduation is fifty thousand instead of twenty five thousand, like a regular micrometer, and when you want to adjust your tool you just move this threaded portion here stick it down in your micrometer and then come right up to it and we're, we are going to cut we're putting 20 over pistons in here we're going to cut uh, 3 inch 144 and then I'm going to uh, take it to uh, 3 inch 146 to give us our wall clearance uh, these these pistons are three inch, one forty three and a quarter, and uh, I like three thousandths piston of wall clearance on these. Uh, the piston calls for uh, one and a half to two and a half. Um, the original manuals like three thousandths, and uh, we're gonna go with a three thousandths. But we'll, we'll clean the rest of it up. We'll, we'll take it to uh, three inch, one forty four, and then take uh, two and a quarter thousandths out with the honing process. So. Uh, that's how you set your tool. This is set right now, and we are going to put it in the machine. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it says top right there. So that goes up. Put it in the machine. And it'll click right in there. You'll feel it click in there. So that's in there now, and it's ready to cut our bore. Okay, we're just about ready to bore. We're bringing this down close to our cylinder. We'll turn it on. And then we'll take this disc here and we'll push it in and that'll give us our automatic feed. And that's just going to go down. That's going to true up our bore, make it nice and straight. Uh, take the taper out of it because we did have some taper in this. And it takes a while to get down there, but um, we just let it go at its own speed and it'll make a perfect bore. And now these cat's paws right here, they're going to get expanded out. But you don't want to expand them out too quickly. You want to wait till you're at the top of the cat's paw right here, even with the deck, before you start expanding them out. And that takes a little bit of feel. You don't want them too tight. You don't want them too loose. You don't want that bar moving. Um, but we'll, I'll show you when they get down a little further. We'll expand them out, and that'll keep it nice and tight in the bore as we're making the cut. You want to make sure your over your, your screw head is below the surface here. You don't want you don't want to expand it before that. Okay, I'm going to start expanding them with this knob up top here. I'm just going to turn that. Okay, now we're just contacting the cylinder wall. I'll give it another click. And they're snug on the cylinder wall. And that's going to cut down nice and straight. And uh, we just let it do its thing. And we'll come back with you and show you the quality of the bore when it's done. Okay guys, we're at the end of our bore. <clears throat> uh, I, I reached under there and I made sure that the bit was pointing forward. It's pointing toward the front of the block. Now if I just lift this up, this chance will put a big score line in the cylinder. Uh, so we're going to loosen our setup because we're done with that hole now. We're going to loosen this guy up here. And we're going to take we're just going to bump the machine back just a little bit. Oh, got to loosen a little bit more. Got to turn my cat's paws in.
and we're just going to slide that back just a little bit and that's going to ensure that's why you face your cutting bit forward that's going to ensure that we don't score the cylinder at all we'll come right up and we'll no chance of scratching it Okay, there it is. And then to get that out of there, you get this little tool with your kit. It just kind of grabs on there. There's a space for that to grab under there. It's a little sticky. Hang in there. That yeah, whole rig's moving on me, Matt. Hang in there, we'll reset the camera on the tripod and I'll have Matt hold the machine back for me. Okay guys, this is what you can't see. Uh, this is this is in the, in the cylinder. Uh, that hooks on to this guy. This is on a shelf inside of our uh, boring bar. And then when you put pressure with this screw, it kind of jacks this up and pulls that tight against the underside. I can't get you any real good footage of it underneath there. But um, we just finished number one, and I like to jump around. I'm going to do number four next, then I'll come back, do number two, and then I'll do number three. So just a process of jumping back, back and forth. Um, the cylinders don't really get hot, but I don't like to do them in succession. So we're going to do number four next, and uh, we'll get set up for that now. Okay guys, there goes number four cylinder. You see all that cast iron dust coming up. And we're just going to hit number four, number two, and then number three. And uh, I'll show you the finished product. And then we'll put a chamfer on top of the bore, and then we can move on to honing this block. Okay, Matt is extending the cat's paws on our final cylinder. And I think you can see how nice a finish we're getting on these cylinders. We'll get a light and show you the finish in a minute. But this is our last cylinder. Okay guys, there's the cylinders all finished up. You can see the, the real nice finish we got on our cylinders. And they are ready for honing now. Uh, on that last engine I did, I uh, uh, kind of wore out the stones a little bit. I got some more stones coming. Uh, but the next thing we're going to do before the honing is, uh, because we bored it, we took away the little uh, chamfer we had here on um, the top. So I'm going to put that in next, and that will help the rings and, and everything in the piston slide right in there. Uh, don't leave a sharp, sharp edge right here. Uh, we're going to relieve that right now, and I'll show you how that's done. You on? Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to put a little chamfer on top of these uh, cylinders now. We don't want a sharp angle there. This is what the cone looks like. You getting that? Yep. Okay, and then we've got these pre-made sanding discs. That's an aluminum oxide disc. And... You could do this with a cutter in the boring bar. You could do it on a CNC machine, um, but this is this is an easy way to do it, and it's fast. There we go. Okay, Matt's going to show you if you could zoom in on that, just how much of a chamfer we got, and we'll do that to all the cylinders. There he is again. Okay, that'll make our pistons and rings, everything slide right down in there nice. Just break the edge a little bit. You don't want a sharp edge there. And that does it just fine. 
and that is uh, one F head cylinder block board and had the chamfer put on the top <clears throat> I'll have some new stones for the honing um, setup and we'll hone this one next I, I showed you that on the last one so I won't go through it on this one and after a good cleaning uh, we'll be ready to start assembling both of these engines 